Considering how bad I did this week, that's not too bad. Are you gonna wait for me? Good boy! Hello internet friends. Thanks for joining me again on my channel. If you're new here, and you probably are, I'm Michi Wee and I want to be a YouTuber and lose weight. So yesterday I posted a very, very short video. All we did was lay around. The dogs were tired from doggy daycare. The cat always lays around. And Steven and I both were exhausted from a three-day board game convention. I was probably a little bit more exhausted than Steven because he's better at strategies and he's very smart and he has more experience with board game conventions. We're both introverts, but for some reason when I'm around people, I have to like turn it on. I am constantly, for lack of better word, performing for other people, trying to make sure that no one is uncomfortable, annoyed, there's no silence. So even though I enjoy the time around people, it's just very exhausting for me. But thanks to that convention, I have yet another new goal. So right now, my goal is to get to 125 pounds and vlog every single day until I reach that goal. Exercise four times a week. And this isn't a goal, but I want to experiment more with healthy recipes so that I'm not doing the same food over and over again. I am trying to learn how to sail and be comfortable in that sailboat when it starts to tilt, which they all tilt if they're catching wind. And for some reason, I have huge anxiety about that. I want to learn how to do all the knots needed. And now the new goal is by next year, I want to be able to host at least four games. That means I'm going to have to get out there and start going to board game nights, which they have at a few game shops. If you're interested, just look at your local game shops and they will definitely have board game nights that you can participate in. So I need to get out there and find games that I like and then practice those games I like enough to be good at it. And then I need to be able to explain those games to others. I think a year is a good timeline. And although I don't like setting dates to goals, this one is gonna be needed. <laughs> there are times when you need to set dates for goals because I know the convention is gonna be next year. And with the sailing, we have a five to 10 year plan for that goal. <sighs> so today is gonna be pretty busy because I had my period, then we had the board game convention, and then I was exhausted. So I have basically taken like a week off. I've been loosely counting my calories. It hasn't been great, but I haven't really gained any weight. I've just been doing maintenance, I think and that's being reflected on the scale. That is fine. Today I need to clean the yard, I need to clean the house, I need to exercise, I need to do a little bit of food prep, and Steven and I need to run a couple errands. And we also wanna spend some quality time together because we have been around other people and yesterday we both needed to decompress so we didn't really interact with each other too much. So I think we will do artichokes for dinner together and watch an episode of The Boys and maybe the new movie Poor Things. I also found some more old sailing footage that I need to get off of my computer and upload it. So I want to attempt to try to finish all of that today. If I don't, it's fine. There's always tomorrow. I also wanted to mention that I think maybe the reason why I was munching a little bit more during the convention was because mental stress can cause you to be hungry. <laughs> And even though I found it exciting, I was having a lot of fun, there was still the mental stress of interacting with people, being nervous about that, being on, trying to win games, because I'm competitive. But everything that I ate 
was pretty healthy, so I don't think it was a huge issue, which is why the scale is also reflecting that. So right now I need to make Steven's breakfast and I'm going to make my breakfast. And if you've been watching for a while, you know I like a smoothie, sausage, and eggs. I'm not feeling it today. I want a shrimp taco. I woke up this morning and my head said shrimp taco. So I'm gonna make that, I'll show you guys the prep and the end result. And when I'm done making it, I'll calculate it all together and show you the calorie count for it. That's it for now, let's get cooking. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fold this, but it looks really good. I thought I was gonna use a third cup of the cheese and I used 0.7 ounces of cheese. And I'll put the full recipe here so you can get the calorie count for each piece and if you want to, you can mix and match. That's really good though. Quick mention before I start doing my food prep and cleaning the house, uh, that breakfast, which I am very full from and couldn't even fit in the tortilla shell, was 300 calories. My normal breakfast is around 770. I usually get 46 grams of protein and 52 grams of fat. This one had 30 grams of protein and 12 grams of fat. So although I love my smoothie and my eggs and my sausage, I definitely wanna start mixing up my meals a little bit. Not only because variety is important in life, but if I can find meals that fill me up for a longer period of time, I'm just helping myself succeed in the long run. I am gonna make sure to get my 1300 calories today because tomorrow I am planning on fasting and doing an 18-6 fast. So if I stop eating around six, that means that I can eat again around 2 p.m. tomorrow. And I'm gonna go for about 700 calories and that's just gonna kind of reset and help me from overeating the past few days to get onto my 3,500 calorie deficit per week. It is not a goal to do that every day. It would mess up my metabolism. I wouldn't be getting the nutrients I need or even the calories. So eating less than 1,000 calories a day will lead to slow metabolism, loss of muscle mass, malnutrition, force the body into starvation mode, and inhibit brain functions. So even though tomorrow I will only have 700 calories, it's going to be in this 24 hour period that I'm really looking at, so it will be okay. Also not doing it every day. Also will equal out to be the correct amount of calories for the week, but definitely not something that's going to happen every day. All right, time to food prep.
Let's do the reaches again. Reach. Now step touch. Right oh. and left. And reach. Okay, just got done working out. You guys may have noticed that it was at the 20 minute mark instead of the 30 minute mark. And I listened to my body on that one. Uh, my leg that has the rod in it hurt very badly. And if you've seen in previous episodes, you'll know that I am willing to push through a little bit of pain, but I was unwilling to fuck around and find out today. So it just felt like just enough there to be worrisome to continue. So I stopped. I had a different exercise that I needed to do anyway, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'd rather only do 20 minutes today and continue to do 20 minutes throughout the week if it must be rather than get injured and not be able to do any of them. So we've got artichokes boiling right now and from eating this the previous day I know I will take two tablespoons of mayonnaise to go with my artichoke so in total it will be about 145 calories and because it's a guesstimate of what size the artichoke is I'm going to just kind of up that up to 150. So that will put me at roughly 600, 600 110 in that little area. That's not going to be enough for today. It's already four o'clock. I need to get in my food by six o'clock because I plan on fasting tomorrow. So I'm going to make a little tuna salad with all the fix-ins since I've got room. Salad time. With all of this, I still have 250 calories left. So I'll probably just make a turkey sandwich. Be easy. Oh, I have broccoli and ranch. Just do broccoli and ranch. The ranch is gonna be where I get all the calories from. So let me take a look at that real quick. It's gonna be all in fat if I do it with the ranch dressing. I don't know if I wanna do that. Mm. I'll have to think on this. I had one of these, I didn't like it much. I'm gonna finish the other one. The first one was banana, this one is strawberry. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of peanut butter with it. That will be 95 calories. And one cup of blueberries. That will be 70 calories. I have 75 left, so I'll be five calories off. I'm good with it. So this is going to be 30 carbs, 20 protein, and 9 fat. I think it's a better choice than the broccoli and ranch for a couple reasons. The broccoli does have protein, but most of my calories would be coming from ranch. And because I'm going to be fasting tomorrow, I want to get as much food in my stomach for the amount of calories I'm putting in. I also needed to get rid of that crappy yogurt. Hopefully this will make it taste better. It just tastes very artificial and I don't like it. And I always love blueberries. So that's going to be my last meal for the day. And I am gonna sign off. It is five o'clock. I need to start video editing. I haven't touched it yet, so this is gonna take me probably a couple hours. I plan on deep cleaning the bathroom tomorrow, so if that interests you or you wanna see other meals that I make, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow.